So we're here at the London Aquatic Centre where the Combo Cup for synchronised swimming is well underway and my background is music and theatre so it will come as no surprise that I'm very interested to find out a little bit more about how the teams make the choices for the music they're going to be using. Now we've heard The Greatest Showman, we've heard songs from Top Gun, we've heard some more contemporary music choices and there's so many factors that come into play so I thought I would have a chat with some of the coaches and the swimmers to find out how they choose the music they're going to swim to. So we're outside the London Aquatic Centre on the Combo Cup day. I've managed to pull Andy Hubbard away from the action for just a few minutes, get a little bit of fresh air. Now your daughter is about to compete, isn't she? She is, yeah, for City of Leeds. Amazing. How are you feeling? Is the tension building? Yeah, quite nervous at the moment. Um, quite excited as well though. Yeah, I mean it's, it's been a fantastic event today, hasn't it? Really, really exciting. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. I think the, the girls have put so much work into uh, preparing for the day. Um, and it's coming to the end of the season now, so it's, it's fantastic to see the girls performing on the, the highest level they can. Now I'm interested to find out a little bit more about the music that's selected. I've heard we've had songs from The Greatest Showman, we've had songs by Madonna, uh, from Top Gun. Can you tell me a little bit about the process that goes into selecting the music for the routine? Yeah, um, normally um, you get the coaches would come to yourselves with um, certain music that they think would fit uh, the girls' style of swimming. Um, what we do then is we pull the music to one side and cut certain certain parts of the music and then try and piece it together. I mean, the, the process can take hours, days, it depends on how well the music flows together. Um, sometimes the girls have uh, music which they think they is going to work and it just doesn't. Yeah. And there's a lot of girls who are quite uh, floaty in the water as well who like very, very dramatic, slow music. Uh, so yes, it's, it's, it depends on the, the style of the, 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 the girl swimming, or sorry, girl or boy swimming. Um, so yes, it's, it's, that's, it depends on how, um, what style of swimming the girls and boys are doing. Uh, yeah, so just an example, um, one of the routines that uh, Gates had swam years ago was a Madonna routine. Uh, and we found that um, the, 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 the audience and um, the, the judges got very, very involved in the music and always scored very, very high points because everyone was clapping along with the music. and So it's so quite tactical there, is that right? Well, <laughs> maybe. Now another thing, just quickly before we let you go back in, because I'm sure you're absolutely chomping at the bit to get back in there for your daughter, um, the costumes. Obviously, uh, there is such an array of beautiful costumes in there. Can you tell me a little bit about how those costumes are selected, made even? Well. There's a lot of parents, very, very clever parents, uh, who do make their own costumes uh, for solos and duets. Um, there is a lot of um, parents as well who make the whole team costumes. But yes, they are selected um, based on the music that the, the girls are swimming. So hopefully you're trying to get a theme with the costume, music, uh, and obviously engaging the audience and judges as well. We wish you all the luck for your daughter's competition. Thank, thank you so much for talking to us. Andy Hubbard, everybody, thank you.